Hi, it's Maria. It's another after midnight one. You know, yesterday um, you heard about the possessed Honda um, that has certainly been a test for me of my patience with the bazaar. Oh my gosh. I know I'm having it towed tomorrow morning, so we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. Anyway, I know that it's too weird, you know, to think that people that uh, that we know that we love would do such a really bizarre things. Um, but remember, nothing happens by accident. On the other side, you know, we chose who is going to be, who was going to be, who is going to be, and who will be in in our life, um, so that we can have the right experiences um, in order to grow. Uh, at just the right time. So everything, oh my gosh, think about that um, in your own life and let me know what you come up with. But um, even think about the deluge of videos on the internet about narcissists. I mean, it's perfect because it helps us know that we're not the only ones to have them in our life, right? And as we as all evolve, <laughs> I, it's one o'clock in the morning, um, we understand that they are souls in need of healing, right? The yin and the yang. And we want to be the yang, right? Because that's the white with the black, a little bit of black inside. But, um, but the white is the white light, right? And the narcissist can be the yin because that's the black with just a little bit of white inside. Mm -hmm. But um, the bottom line is we volunteered to learn some very valuable lessons here to evolve higher. Um, and there's more good news, and that's that when we learn the lessons, uh, the, the lessons, the issues, and even the people disappear from our lives. <laughs> yeah. So just remember, when the going gets tough, you know the rest. Um, by the way, have you had the, have, have you had tingling inside of you? Oh my gosh. Um, I have had like an electrical current that has been like zapping me and um, the full moon is tomorrow. Well, actually it's today because it's after midnight, <laughs> but um, it's on the 20th of October, which is close to Halloween when the energy is really intensified, right? Um, and in terms of like Halloween and stuff, do you feel like your ancestors and others who've transitioned, do you feel um, their presence, that they're making their presence known to you? Um, that they're helping you from the other side? I know it sounds pretty crazy that people that we love and still love are now beings of light. I mean, it just sounds so fantastic, doesn't it? And they're pure energy and they're no longer matter. Um, and they, well, that, that sounds pretty weird because if I said they no longer matter, then that means they no longer are meaningful, but I meant they're no longer physical matter, <laughs> you know. And they can hover around us, and they give us messages, and they boost our energy, and they nudge us to do stuff, like um, to turn right when we were just headed straight, and probably right into a brick wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they love us that much. And just like um, here on Earth, where we have jobs and we have things to do on the other side, what if it's their job to be like our little helpers, you know, to be like our bodyguards? I think that's pretty wild. Um, and in their world, it's all love, you know? And hey, in our world, it's all love too. But we're still trying to figure that one out, right? We are love energy. Totally. We came from love. We were created by love. We were created in love. Um, we live in love, even when we think we haven't found the one, the love of our life. Oh, we have found it because we are the love of our life. No one else is more important than us, to us, right? And, um, it's right inside ourselves. And at the end of our lifetime, we go to love. Yeah. So anyway, this is just a quick one and I just can't wait to put my head on the pillow. <laughs> so anyway, 
um, my lovely friends until next time and um, until tomorrow uh, because I will let you know about my little possessed Honda. Okay? I love you. Bye. Good night.